Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys had a great summer. Uh, appreciate everybody coming out. We've got a great turnout, so uh, very, very appreciative of you guys coming out and supporting Penn State football and, and following our program. Uh, just kind of open up with a, a few brief statements. Um, you know, we kind of keep knocking away at projects uh, throughout the program. I'm really proud if you guys haven't been in the stadium, one of the things I'm really excited about is uh, we ripped up, it turned into a, a big project, but we ripped up all that turf around the field that needs to be there for, for, uh, for TV and things like that. But it was kind of the old school turf like your grandmom had on our back porch. Um, and that, that was problematic at times where guys would need to try to stop coming off the field after running a route and uh, would slip on it and it was hard. So we were able to get all that up and, and just another, you know, another thing where we're in, kind of improving the program very specifically from a player safety and health perspective that we, we take very, very serious. Um, another one you guys will see at practice today is um, uh, the Guardian caps you know, that we got for everybody. Uh, it's an outer layer that goes over top of their helmet uh, that we've added as well this year. We've done the ProTech helmets forever. Uh, you guys have seen them. They're the ones that are the, the, the extra layer on the outside of the helmet that looks just like our helmets. Um, so I'm really pleased with all these these projects that we keep knocking knocking out that I think are very very important for our program moving forward and most importantly uh, to take care of our players and make sure that they're uh, healthy and, and safe and, and happy in their development. Uh, so feel really good about that. Got a couple announcements. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are, are aware of this or not, but Jamal Griffin, who's been with me since day one. Um, um, been a been a, a friend. Uh, you know, Jamal was a head high school coach at Woodlawn High School in, in Maryland uh, when I was at the University of Maryland, and, and came on and has been been with me uh, ever since. Done a great job as chief of staff for us. Uh, Jamal has been fortunate to be able to get a job um, and is going to be leaving uh, to go to St. Thomas University in Minnesota as a senior associate athletic director. This was a goal an objective of his uh, to get into administration um, and uh, you know, couldn't be happier for him and his family. And Kevin Threlkill has been promoted into his position, just so you guys all are aware of that. So not sure if you guys were aware of that already or not, um, but I uh, wanted to make sure you guys heard that from, from me. Um, you know, our big kind of philosophy this year, our mantra this year that we're going to talk about all the time uh, is championship habits. And uh, you know, just big believers in, in the habits that our guys have on and off the field are really going to allow them to be successful in both areas as well. So um, it's all of it. It's, it's all the little things. It's all the details. It's how we practice. It's how we meet. It's how we prepare. Uh, it's how we are in the community. It's how we are uh, in class, sitting in the front row, taking notes early, all those things. So that's going to be something you're probably going to hear all year long. Um, is our, our champion our championship habits mantra that we're gonna we're gonna keep hammering home uh, some objectives in in the different phases you know um, on offense we want to make sure we establish a, a championship too deep at all positions that's that's critical uh, in our conference and, and at this level of football you, you got to develop depth uh, that's going to be important for us to, to do uh, we got started yesterday I thought it was a good first day. Uh, but obviously, we still have a lot of work to do. Two guys that I, I want to give some love to that, that probably aren't getting uh, a whole lot of it and, and, and should and are, are deserving. Um, Bowers. You know, Bowers is a guy that had a bunch of injuries throughout his career and has battled through them. And uh, his family's been unbelievable, and he's been unbelievable. Uh, I think he's going to have a huge year for us. Um, he's also a guy that's a senior. Um, and again, has had a lot of adversity and has battled through it and has just been a fantastic teammate. He's been a fantastic student here in the community. Uh, and I think he's going to have a huge year for us this year. So I wanted to bring him up. And I also wanted to bring up Gonzalez. You know, Gonzalez had a decision to make at the end of last year. I think he made the right decision and, and came back. Um, really excited about his experience. Really excited about his development. Um, you know, uh, excited about what he's going to do during camp from a leadership perspective as well as from a technique and fundamental and offensive leadership perspective. Uh, I think he's going to have a big year for us as well. On defense, 
you know, continue to be aggressive with our, with our uh, opponents uh, on the other side of the line of scrimmage in terms of tackles for loss and, um, and, and sacks. But also we gotta we gotta minimize you know some of the explosive plays and obviously be a little bit more consistent against the run. Uh, that's that's going to be a big focus for us this year, you know. And then a couple guys that I want to uh, I want to mention as well. Shane Simmons, kind of a, a similar background as Bowers, has, has battled a bunch of injuries the last couple of years. Every year we go into the season saying this is going to be his breakout year, and uh, he's as healthy as he been as he as he's been since since we recruited him. So. Um, you know, he's, you're going to see him. He looks beautiful. He's 260 pounds, uh, moving extremely well. Um, so really, really excited. I think that's going to be a name that, that you guys see in practice. And it's going to be a name that uh, I think has got a chance to have an exciting year for us. The other guy probably not getting talked enough about is Shaka Tona. Shaka Tony um, is a guy, obviously, within our program has, has got so much respect. Um, is so explosive. He's great for our offense tackles with his get off and his speed. Tested really well this off season. I uh, think he's going to have a huge year for us. And then John Reed is is the other one. John's a guy, obviously coming back off an of injury uh, yesterday at practice. Uh, not only did he look uh, as good as he did pre-injury, but better from an experience, from a maturity, from an understanding uh, you know, of our defense and our, of our culture. So um, you know, some guys that I just wanted to mention on those two sides of the ball, and then obviously on special teams, uh, continue to establish our, our CTG, the change the game culture that uh, Coach Lorg has brought to us and you know, excited about how good we can be on special teams. Last year, we were depending on two true freshmen to have significant roles uh, in specialist positions. Obviously, we, you know, we're in a much different position this year, and, and uh, you know, I think Joe and, and those guys are going to have a huge impact. So looking forward to it, excited about it. Obviously, we got a lot of work to do ahead of us. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys for all coming out and, and supporting us. I also want to thank uh, the administration, um, you know, uh, Sandy Barber and, and President Barron, and then Scott Sidwell, who's new with us and doing a great job as well. Um, I think we're really starting to kind of, um, you know, uh, hit our stride in terms of understanding uh, what everybody expects, standards, um, how we work together, how efficient we are, and and um, you know that's that's been a real positive. So uh, pleased with that. So open it up to questions. Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Hey James, how you doing? Good. How are you, Mark? Doing great. Hey, how, could you take us through the, the logistics of how you pick a starting place kicker, and could you address who's in that and how important that role is, given some of the struggles you may have had last year? Yeah. So, um, you talking field goals? You talking kickoff? Okay. So, you know, what we will typically do is it's really probably no, you know, no different than any other position. So, we have our individual periods and things like that. Uh, we we bring them over to the stadium. I think it's important that they get to the kick in the stadium as well uh, during practice. So we do those things. But just like every other position, we chart and grade everything. Uh, so we chart and grade everything. That allows us to, to, you know, we have a gut feeling of what we think, but then we can go back and actually check the data. Um, at this level, everybody in our organization, everybody in our program um, can do it. It's, it's, it's the level of consistency. It's, you know, who's the guy that's going to do it the most consistent to give our team the best uh, position to be successful. There may be a guy that can hit a 60-yarder, but obviously the value is the guy that can hit 40 yards and in at a very, very high rate. Um, you know, kickoff, obviously, with a lot of the new rules and things like that. Um, you know, we were able to get a, a transfer in Mr. Stout from Virginia Tech. He was fourth in the country last year in, in kickoff, so we got some experience there. Um, but at the end of the day, um, these guys will kick, we'll track all of them, and then we typically end practice uh, with a competitive period in front of their peers. A lot of times we'll do it for running to put some pressure on those guys. Um, and obviously under, under those conditions as well, it's magnified. So game-winning field goals, uh, kickoffs, punts, same type of thing with uh, specific hang times, specific distances that we're looking for. Um, and at the end of the day, you're looking for who's, who's going to be the most consistent uh, in practice. And ultimately, you hope that translates to most consistent in games. Hello. Hello. What are the 
positives and negatives of having such a young football team? Yeah, so I, I you know, obviously the, the, the positives is you got a bunch of guys that are hungry and are excited um, and that are, have something to really prove and got a chip on their shoulder. I, I don't think there's, there's any doubt about that. Um, obviously the negatives is, is you lack experience and experience counts and experience matters. You know, there's no doubt about it. Um, experience playing major college football, experience playing in Beaver Stadium, experience playing in all these different venues that we're going to go to on the road. Um, you know, that, that is a factor, you know, there's, there's no doubt about it, but that, that's our job. Our job is to help these guys gain as, as much experience and as much confidence as, as we, as we possibly can, um, and, and also create depth. You know, so um, that's that's the other area that probably will show up is on special teams. You know, a lot of times those guys that 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 you're looking for from a depth perspective on offense and defense, they may have significant roles on special teams, um, and it's it's it, it's impacted our depth there. There's no doubt about it. But yeah, I think I think there's 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 arguments that you can make in both directions. Obviously, for us, we're focusing on all the all the positives, but we have an awareness, obviously, of, of the challenges that come with it.